Hi, this is Jordan Wagner. I'm here today with the Plush FX Jersey Thunder. Now, this pedal is a really, really great pedal for bass players. Um, with a name like Jersey Thunder, you would think it would be more of an overdrive or distortion, but it's really, really not. It's more of a bass boost and um, uh, tonal shaping pedal. So you have controls for gain and shape, shaping of the curve, and then you have a three-way switch on the side, which does three varying degrees of um, uh, EQ shaping and slope and all of that nature. Uh, they're based upon uh, certain settings that audio engineers commonly use for bass players either in recording situations or live situations where they really need the bass to sit at a certain spot in the entire tonal spectrum. So there's one that boosts the low end, there's another one that cuts the low mids a little bit, and then there's another one that adds a lot more snap into the high end if you're into slap and pop techniques. Also, um, with a name like Gain as well, you would think there would be some onboard distortion or some onboard overdrive. And there really, really isn't. Um, it was designed to be clear and clean and crisp to add more of a, a wider tone to your bass sound. So today I'm going to do some tonal demonstrations with this Gibson Les Paul Jr. Double Cut Bass and this Ampeg PF350 Combo. And I'm going to start off with just some, playing a couple notes, a uh, couple little lines here and there on each one of the three switch settings and moving the shape knob so you can kind of get an idea of how much it affects the tone. Some of them it's more subtle than others. Uh, there's actually more of an effect on the tone from changing the EQ shape via the three-way switch. So there you go, that's Plush FX's new Jersey Thunder. Great pedal for shaping up your bass tone and kind of adding and kicking in a little bit more frequencies or taking out frequencies that let you sit a little bit better in the overall mix. Um, if you're looking for overdrive or distortion, it's definitely not the pedal for you, but if you're looking to add some fidelity and clarity and wideness to your tone, it's a great, great choice. And one of the coolest things about playing this pedal, at least for me, was the feel of it. There's an, there's an awful lot that obviously can't be translated through a video through YouTube. There, you know when you're playing in front of a great amp or when out a great piece of gear you're not going to hear certain things or feel certain things so I highly highly recommend you go check this out in the store. It's a great great pedal and you can read my full review in much much greater detail on PremierGuitar.com and in the upcoming November pedal issue of Premier Guitar which is jam-packed with tons and tons of great reviews and coverage of some of today's hottest pedals. So again this is Jordan Wagner and thanks for watching.